I'm at Ipswich awaiting my train along the East Suffolk line towards Lower Stoft, where the first time I travelled on this line, I wasn't actually intending to do so. About four years ago, I intended to make my way to Burney Arms Station, which is a very quiet, rural halt station in the middle of the marshes, except my train there from Norwich was cancelled. What I ended up doing instead was catch one of the lower stuffed trains from Norwich and jump out at Buckingham, which is another very quiet station that hardly anybody uses, and walk back towards Brundle. I waited for the next Burnie Arms train from there because it's quite an infrequent service, only every two hours, and it seemed like it was running even though it was one minute late, until suddenly that train became cancelled too. I didn't quite know what to do at that point because I didn't want to hang around for another two hours with the chance that that train could be cancelled too. So I ended up switching my day entirely. After Burnley Arms, I was going to visit the coastal town of Great Yarmouth, but I thought I'll just go and visit the coastal town of Lowestoft instead. And then from there, I came back along the Ipswich line because there's two lines to Lowestoft but my train was cancelled coming home too, so <laughs> yeah, that day didn't go as planned at all. Now I did end up managing to visit Burnie Arms and Great Yarmouth a few weeks later, but I also had a plan to visit Lower Stuff, just not on that day, because that kind of ended up being a bit of an impromptu trip. But that plan did include the walk from Buckingham to Brundle. Did also include a little walk from Melton to Woodbridge Station along the River Deben, because they are quite close together. And I still might have done that if my train from Lowestoft wasn't cancelled. So four years later, I'm finally rectifying that, and I've come back to the East Suffolk line using some of the intermediate stations for the first time, starting here at Woodbridge. And because now I've got all day, I'm going to do a little bit more than just the river walk up to Melton. I'm gonna go into the town and have a little wander around. I'm already discovering just how cute of a place Woodbridge is. I very rarely come into Suffolk. That might be why I think it's a bit of an underrated county, but I'm glad I've so far come into the town and I've had time to have a look at it. I'm on Thoroughfare. That's it. That's literally the road name, Thoroughfare, which seems like it's the main high street that cuts straight through the town, which kind of adds to the quaintness of the place. And I'm surprised to find that Cycle Route 1 passes through here because I was just on that all the way up in Scotland near Edinburgh. But I'm now passing through Elmhurst Park, which is going to bring me down towards the River Deben. And a mile into the walk, I can see the River Deben. <laughs> but there's a level crossing in the way, which I'm now going to have to wait for the train to come through. Uh, there's actually two level crossings. There's one just over there too. I've always found this sign to be an interesting one, because I've never seen a truck look like that in my life. Here is what we've come here to see, the River Deben as it's opening up into its estuary form. I can smell the saltiness of the water. In doing research for this walk I discovered that there is a possible walk you can do along it from its confluence with the sea, which is near to Felixstowe, so that might be a walk that we might do in the future. I mean I wouldn't mind coming back to Woodbridge, it is a lovely place. Although it's not a particularly long walk, along the river to Melton. I've said it before and I'll say it again, these type of walks are some of my favourites, so I'm making the most of this section. The uh, the smell isn't as great now. It might be because there's a sewage works in there. <laughs> come away from the river because, like Woodbridge, I thought I'd come and have a look at Melton. There's not a whole lot to it. I mean, it does have the uh, smallest Morrisons, I've ever seen, but I am delighted to announce that it has a village sign. 
This is what was missing from Woodbridge. Passing by Melton Station, which I would have used four years ago, and I'm still not using today. Now I do have all day to do this walk, so I'm not ending here at Melton, but I will come back here one day because there's other places nearby which I would like to maybe go and have a visit of, such as Sutton Hoo or Rendlesham Forest. I hear the, uh, <laughs> the level crossing barriers going again. The rest of the walk is inspired by this leaflet. Greater Anglia have produced this leaflet for the East Suffolk lines. This is my copy, but this was a brand new copy that I found at Ipswich this morning and the wind has helped me out here, no it hasn't, by, <laughs> by showing me what's on the inside. So it's a map of the line and a little bit of history at some of the stations en route. But this new edition also includes a timetable which is quite handy too. I noticed on this leaflet though, this, eastsuffolklines.com slash walks. Try some of our station to station walks. And so I looked up that website. I found that there was indeed several walks that you can do between stations on the East Suffolk line. And for me, that's really good because that combines two things which I really like to do. Walking and my ambition to visit as many stations in the country as possible. And because I haven't done any of the intermediate stations between Ipswich and Lowestoft, I struggled for a moment there to uh, remember Ipswich. And also because I now have this want to visit Suffolk more, I've got a lot of possible walks that I can do in and around this area. And so I have combined uh, a very small section that is the walk I had planned from Woodbridge to Melton and a walk from here to Wickham Market. So I am back beside the River Deben, but not for long. This will kind of be our last glimpse of it in its much wider estuary form. Not that the river itself is particularly wide at this point. It's just kind of marshy mud flats that are on either side of it, but we will see it a couple of more times on our walk today in a much smaller form. You can see here that there are a selection of walks for the East Suffolk lines. Sutton Hoo, uh, there's one back towards Woodbridge. I see us, Devon Valley Walk to Wickham Market Station. That's where we're going, across the road. This is what, the fourth railway crossing I've had? so far on my walk and I'm being stopped by the train again I won't see the railway line now again until the very end of my walk and this walk has gone from a river estuary walk into a rural countryside walk And with countryside walking comes country road walking. Luckily this is a very quiet one and there's no cars yet. But uh, I'm going to take this path instead, which will skirt around the edge of a golf course. Now I'm heading back out onto the road. I haven't heard any cars the entire time I've been in the golf course. Watch as now there'll be several cars coming through. Huh, the white line in. Usually it's the red line, you don't come across white lines very often. I got quite lucky with my road. There were no cars on it at all. But I'm walking up this path now towards a church. Here it is. You can actually hear a train in the background right now. Seems like the uh, clock is gone. Someone's taken it down. Ah, there's one on the front of the church. And it's the right time. All's well that ends well. It's been really nice properties. I've come across on my little stint of road walking. Huh, I wonder what used to be here. Cause these look like proper grand gates that are just leading to like a housing area now. Maybe there's an old palace around here or something. This little settlement that I'm in is known as Ufford. And we've got a double whammy in village signs today because they have one too. I like that name Ufford. They even have a free footpath leaflet that you can take by them old gates. I was hoping it might tell me what it used to be, but it just labels almshouses. 
near to where it was. This is cool though. And that up there is the path which we're going to be taking. You can see the railway line and the river. The river doesn't come quite near to the village, but it does seem to be a river down here. So this must be a tributary of it of some kind. I was in Westfield Stratford this morning. I was early and had a bit of a wait until my train, but now I'm here. <laughs> that contrast is incredible. It's just incredible that there's no one around really. Apart from all these ducks in the middle of the field, what are you lot doing? An avenue of trees. And if we turn around, another old gate. This time leading through into a fancy mansion over there. And they've also got cows as well. It's a very twisty, windy road here. It's going back on itself. Wonder why they didn't just build it straight across. It's flat enough, so there's not a gradient problem. But then again, I've seen signs for the Loudon Hall estate, so maybe they just couldn't build across this land. I've learned after my Pangborn walk that that is a millstone up there. And we're passing over the River Deben. This is our first proper sighting of it since we left it down at the estuary. As well as uh, it being part of the Loudham Hall estate, I'm wondering if that house we came across now is actually Loudham Hall. There used to be an Ash Abbey around here as well. So perhaps you can build across Abbey grounds that road. I'm nearing the end of that East Suffolk Line walk section to Wickham Market Station, which carries on that way through the gap in the bushes. But I'm instead going to head this way. Now the walk from Woodbridge to Melton along the River Deben would have been only about a mile and a half if I didn't divert to go and have a look at the towns. And the section from Melton to Wickham Market is only about five and three quarter miles. So combined, even with the diversion to the towns, that's a shorter walk than usual for me. And bizarrely, Wickham Market Station is actually nowhere near the town of Wickham Market. It's about two miles to the east, in fact. So because I don't want to head for the station straight away, I've still got a bit of daylight left, I want to head to the town of Wickham Market and then loop back around to the station because I am actually quite close to it at this current point. And on my extended walk, I get to follow a bit of the River Deben. And it's much more like a river at this point than the estuary we saw earlier. I've reached the point where the River Deben is passing underneath the A12 road. Now I can't follow it past this point, so I've got to back out and turn and make my way underneath this road somehow myself. This is quite a sad, overgrown little graveyard, but this does mean that we've now made it into Wickham Market, now that we're by the church. I've made it down into Wickham Market now, which also has a very tiny Morrisons and a village sign. That's three in one day. On the outskirts of the town, you have our final sighting of the River Deben today at the appropriately named Deben Mill. And what a fantastic final sighting it is. Right, thus begins the long and treacherous two miles to Wickham Market Station. I like that we visited all three towns of the stations that we've passed on our walk today. But my walk back to the station is bringing me back underneath the A12 and we're by little tributary, I guess, of the River Deben yet again. The distance over there is where the River Deben is passing under the A12. 
So you can see how he did just loop around to go and visit Wickham Market. I'm continuing towards the station. I gotta get over this stile. Well, I didn't expect to see goats on the last portion of this walk. I have never seen so many pigs in my life. It also reeks, <laughs> the smell is so strong. Oh my god, that is the sound of nightmares! Can you still hear the pigs back there? <laughs> Anyways, what I was going to say is we're on to our final footpaths, our final fields. And I've been reunited with the East Suffolk Line walks. Here's my one. Just as we get to be beside the railway line, which means the station is close. So I've made it to Wickham Market Station, which is nowhere near Wickham Market. We're in a little village called Campsea Ash instead. But it does have a magnificent old station house. So I have about 25 minutes to wait for the hourly service back towards Ipswich, which I'm happy to do. I'm just glad that I made the train because I actually have an advance single ticket, which essentially means that I am booked on this service. I have to be on this train home. When I looked at tickets last night for how much they were, I was surprised to find that an advance single for tomorrow was actually quite considerably cheaper than if I bought my ticket this morning, for example. So it seemed like a no-brainer to do, to save myself a few quid. I never usually buy an advance single though, because I like the freedom I have with an open return ticket. I can break my journey wherever I want, I can catch whatever time train I want to going home, but a lot of the time when I go out and do my walks, I have an idea of what time my train home will be and more often than not I end up catching that service so I was fairly confident today that I would make this train and I have so it was worth me buying the advanced single. Now Wickham Market station used to be a junction station there used to be another old branch line railway here to a place called Framlingham which has a castle so maybe I'll go back and visit that one day. That would be fun to do. I'll just have to add that to the list of never-ending East Suffolk walks that I now have to go and do. But considering how much I enjoyed this one, I'll look forward to coming back to this line and doing some more. We are now approaching Woodbridge. Please mind the step between the train and the platform. Please take care when leaving the train. 